Just to make sure we're clear on how the filters work and the different options that are available to you, this is a sort of supplemental video explaining how to use the filters on the point cloud directly to create um, surfaces that might mix and match different things. So I'm going to turn off a couple of layers here. And that one, just so we can see. It. That's our point cloud. I'm going to filter it and just grab the ground uh, data. Let's apply that filter. So you can see there's some effort, at least in the raw LiDAR file, to have that. <clears throat> and previously we had used some actual XYZ ASCII files to do the bare earth image. This time we're going to use the classified data with a filter to do a similar exercise. So let's, with a little bit more control over the parameters, as you saw. All right, so it's filtered. Uh, we want to make sure we put it in the right spot. So uh, BA for bare earth, and it's classified. We'll keep the same parameters that we used before, and it uh, should be fine, and let's go. Good. Uh, that didn't take too long. Got a nice surface there of the bare earth generated from a different uh, path, but uh, we'll see what that one looks like and we'll be able to compare. Good. Now, <clears throat> you know, there are some differences. Uh, let's have a look. Right, that's the that's the full downtown one. So we're we're more interested in this one, which is the bare earth from, uh, you know, the text files, and then this one, uh, pretty close. Okay, and there's just the raw point cloud. So now we're going to go into InfraWorks and we're going to use those files. Before we do that, though we're going to quickly look at recap and how it can be used to manage the point cloud data itself, create a recap file that can be, then be used in its native sort of point cloud style in InfoWorks 360 as well.